Manifest on Purpose. My name is Kimberly Williams. I am a mindset consultant specializing in manifestation. I help you align your mindset with the things that you desire in your life to help you manifest in your life. So what are you waiting for? Come on, let's go. Let's manifest on purpose. If your home is your castle, your inner home should be your fortress. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Monday. Welcome to the Manifest on Purpose Mindset Show, conversation number 83. Today, I'm going to be discussing why it is important for you to have mental rest. I am your host, Kimberly. I am a mental alchemist. I help you transform your mindset so that you can create the best version of yourself. Thank you so much for sharing your time and energy with me today. Thank you for inviting your friends and family. And thank you for subscribing here and on the website at manifestonpurpose.net. The God in me loves the God in you. Your inner home is none other than your mind. Last conversation, I discussed the sympathetic nervous system. Today, I will discuss the parasympathetic nervous system so you can be aware of how important mental rest is. I will also give you ways to practice mental rest. When your mind relaxes, so does your body. That's when the parasympathetic nervous system is functioning. The parasympathetic nervous system is also known as rest and digest. It's called this because it's responsible for all of the functions that only operate when the mind is in a state of rest. This includes things such as digestion, reproduction, creativity. It also regulates the heart rate, the blood pressure, and the temperature. Your body is at its healthiest in this state. It should be your goal to keep your mind at a state of rest. This simply means less stress. Here are some ways that you can relax the mind. You should at least give yourself 30 minutes a day of relaxed focus. The first way is relax your body. Mind and body are an even exchange. Mind affects the body and body affects the mind. Listen to your body when it tells you to rest. If you don't, you may be forced to later. Another way is mindful walking. Now this is walking with a purpose. Next time you walk to the car, bus, train, or even in the park, allow yourself to notice the things that are around you. Take in the sunshine. Say hello to nature. Another way to get that 30 minutes of mental rest is just lay there. My best days are the days I just lie in bed for an extra 30 minutes in gratitude. This will change your life. It keeps you in a constant state of gratitude. Being in gratitude is powerful and it also reflects in the body. Next up, put pen to paper and write it out. Yes, you can use a journal, but you can also write a letter to yourself. Putting your thoughts on paper helps you clear your mind. You can tear the paper up and toss it in the garbage after you're done. Bonus tip. I like to write the story the way I want to see it. Basically, I'm saying keep the negative out. Writing is a way to prime the subconscious pump to create reality. Read, read, read. Maybe you've heard this before. An idle mind is the devil's workshop. Whenever the children in my family complained about being bored, they were told by one of the adults, go get a book. Perhaps they knew that reading would stimulate the child's mind. It would make them focus. You can only put your focus on one thing at a time, despite popular opinion. The mental stimulation that you receive when you read causes you to focus. 
Now, this one may sound a little weird. Teleportation through music. Put on your favorite music and allow it to take you to another reality temporarily. Bonus tip, create your playlist. Here's how you do it. Let's just say you want to build confidence. Select songs that build your confidence. If you want to take your mind to a specific time, select music that reminds you of that time period. Music is an expression of love. Last but not least, do anything you love to do. What do you really enjoy doing more than anything? Anything positive you can get lost in is what you should be doing. If your home is your castle, your inner home should be your fortress. Your inner home is your mind and it is asking you for rest. It can't rest in stress. To obtain mental rest, you need to activate the parasympathetic nervous system. The mind and body connects. A resting mind leads to a healthy body. When activating the parasympathetic nervous system, your vital signs will regulate, normal digestion takes place, and it opens up your creativity. Just as your physical body needs rest, your mind also needs rest. Relax your mind. Here's your promise to me. Give yourself 30 minutes a day at least of relaxed focus. You can use one of these ways I mentioned here today, or you can just do whatever you love to do. Whatever you decide to do, give yourself 30 minutes a day of you time. I love you to life. This is how you manifest on purpose. Let's prepare for today's meditation. If you are driving, this is not the time to do so. Please download this and save it for later. If you are not driving, please find your sacred space, the space in which you are comfortable, the one that is safe and distraction free. Focus on your breathing. Relax. In today's meditation, practice relaxed focus. Enjoy your meditation.